Hey everybody, it's Tom Fry back with another Deliberate Family Moment. Today, I wanna to talk with you about helping your children discover their God-given purpose. I remember several years ago being at a sports complex. We were there to watch my nephew's little league ball game. And as we were leaving, there was a father and son having batting practice. But in the couple of minutes that we observed this as we were walking to our car, it was painfully obvious this wasn't just a normal practice. What we witnessed was a father screaming at his son in a way that I've never heard a professional coach scream at his team. This has been 15 years ago and if I had to guess, I would assume that young man is no longer playing baseball. And if he is, it's highly likely that he isn't playing for the love of the game, but for his dad's approval, or worse yet, for the fear of his dad's disapproval. As a parent, one of our biggest responsibilities is to equip our children to live out their God-given purpose. Not yours, not mine, but theirs. Sometimes those passions overlap and sometimes they don't, but the biggest joy that we can have as a parent is to see our children walking in God's call on their life. So how do we do this? I think it starts with teaching them at an early age that they were created for a purpose. We read in Ephesians 2.10, uh, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which he has prepared in advance for us good works that God has created in advance for us to do. That sounds a lot like purpose to me. So what are your children's purpose? I believe this takes time and sometimes work uh, to find, kind of like a treasure hunt. Some children just seem to instinctively know their purpose from an early age, while others seem to have to try things first, and still others seem to doubt their purpose um, that seems so obvious to everyone else. Often, well-intentioned people also try to dissuade our children's pursuit of their passions by advocating for careers that are more lucrative, less risky, or simply more normal. However, nothing will satisfy one's heart like living out our unique call. Scripture also tells us to start our children off the way they would go, and when they're old, they won't depart from this. This comes from Proverbs 22, 6. And when our children discover this, there will be no need to belittle them. You will see them pursuing their passions naturally. Our responsibility then becomes helping to equip them in their gifts, minimizing their distractions, and looking for ways that they can begin to use these gifts at a small, age-appropriate ways. And finally, teaching them to understand their passions are a gift from God, a gift through which he has called us to love and serve the world. And mom and dad, this is another great reminder to ask ourselves as well, if we're doing everything in our life to model this to our children. I hope this has been helpful. And remember, if you have a question on marriage, parenting, or personal discipleship that you would like for me to consider for an upcoming deliberate moment, or if you would like to bring my family in for a deliberate family event, which includes music with the Fry Family Band plus teaching and literature, or if you would like some more personal one-on-one uh, -on -one or group life coaching around family or life's purpose, be sure to email me at info at deliberatefamilyministries.com. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below too. Until next week, this is Tom Fry reminding you to live deliberately.